everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. A quick note for everybody that this is being recorded with the Kodak Playtouch camera and an external Sennheiser microphone. Now this video is a review of the Harnell HW433S80. This is a professional wireless remote control for the Sony range of cameras. It's got an 80 meter wireless range. Let's get the packaging open. Now while I'm opening this, I should just tell you that there are a lot of wireless remotes available, but this one's very highly regarded. And this actually is available for around about 40 pounds in the UK or $60 in the US. Now inside the packaging, we've got a little battery and some instructions. If I just turn this over carefully, I can get into the main product. And the main product consists of this section here, which is going to actually attach to your camera We've also got a little extension cable here, which is going to connect into the side port of the camera. And then we've also got the wireless remote unit. So it's all very neat, looks very well presented. Now inside this unit here, if I just turn this round, this is where we're going to actually place the battery. So we slide this cover off, We've got some little gel packaging in here. This is how it'd be presented to you when you actually purchase it. So I wanted to give you a look at the, a sort of an unboxing, little unboxing of it as well. Now I have been testing this, it's a very nicely uh, put together unit. The reason for this section here is so that you can actually mount it to the top of your camera. Now if I just place this onto the hot shoe of the Sony A55, and slide this into position, that's it actually on the camera then I have to uh, go round to, where am I going? Round to this remote port here on this side. And here we've got the connection for this adapter cable. Now this adapter cable simply plugs into the side port like so. And then it's a simple matter of connecting these two sections together. Now it is obviously handy that they've included some instructions for you as well but it's not that difficult to actually get things set up and running now you can obviously tuck this out of the way of the lens if you want to and you can of course delve into the instructions if you want to as well but basically once that is on the camera let's just switch the camera on we can actually use the remote we've got a little extendable aerial here to give you that better range we've also got some uh, sort of channel settings here so you have to make sure that these match those on the unit. I'm going to turn the main unit on. We've got a little red flashing light on the front there. I don't know if you saw that. A little red flashing light. And we've also got um, a sort of button here that we can actually focus in on. And then we've got the remote control which as you can see is actually controlling the camera. So it's a very simple affair. We have got a four second timer option here. We've also got just a straightforward landscape setting here as well for, for instant shutter activation. And we push the button, focuses the camera, takes the shot. This does actually control sort of a half shutter press. So I'm pushing it halfway down, focuses in, takes the shot. If I switch this switch down to the four second mode, focuses in, push the button, four seconds to activation, takes the shot. Very, very easy to use, extremely simple to set up. Let me just show you that again. So we're going on this button here to instant activation, push the button, focuses in, takes the shot, or we can switch it round to four second mode, push the button in, activate. We've got a blinking red light on the front, four seconds, and it takes the shot. This is a superb little remote control. And as I said, this is the HW433S80 and an absolute bargain, £40 in the UK and $60 in the US. It combines the Harnell handheld remote control here with that extendable aerial and also the reception unit that attaches to your digital SLR. Now this one works with all Sony DS DSLR cameras and I've obviously got it testing here on an A55, but it does also work on things like the A200, the A6100, 
the A100, 350, 300, 700 and the A900 as well. Well thanks very much for watching, please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek & Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.